Hi, with CBC Meteorologist Jay Scotland. I have to say, Jay, you know, as the days get shorter, my mood just goes... <laughs> well, I have good news. Tomorrow they stop getting shorter. Is it tomorrow? Tomorrow's oh. winter solstice. Tomorrow is the wow. last... Yes, it's the last day where we lose, and we lose less than half a second, I believe, of daylight tomorrow. <laughs> and then after tomorrow, the days start to get longer again. So oh, good. The mood is about to improve. That being said, we still have January and February to get through, and I know you're not a fan of the cold either. Uh, but tomorrow, essentially, winter solstice just means that sun reaches its lowest point, or its furthest point, I should say, south of the equator, because, of course, the Earth is tilted, and, well, this season is where we see that really predominantly, the sun really reaching its highest point over the southern hemisphere. So at 544 tomorrow, we do enter officially the winter season. The sun will reach its furthest point south of the equator. That means tomorrow is the shortest day of the year. Here in Windsor, that means 9 hours, 4 minutes, 56 seconds of daylight compared to summer solstice where we're, I think, punching above 15 hours. We have full 6 hours of more daylight uh, as we look to the summer solstice versus the winter solstice. Winds, the big story.